going to be testing out texture packs that claim to improve your FPS. And there's been a lot of videos that claim this either worked or doesn't. We're going to see if these texture packs do the job. Starting out with the first one. Hey boys, before I show you guys the first texture pack, this is how much FPS I normally get without any texture pack at all. So around 400-ish around there, which isn't bad by no means. A lot of people are like, Craig, what the heck? That's more than I can count. So I'm going to try to fight someone real quickly and see if that makes my FPS go lower. Doesn't so many of you guys know the more action your screen has, the lower your FPS goes. So here we are. Oh, here we go. All right then. So normally, okay, so from the looks of it, I'm getting almost 400-ish and I just destroyed that guy and oh, well, that was a waste of Ender Pro. So the lowest I got so far is like around 318 around there. Oh crap. Okay, this guy is definitely mobile. I do feel bad. Get your booty over here, boy. Let's see if these texture packs help me keep a higher FPS. Now the first texture pack we have on the list is FPS Plus version 3, a FPS boost texture pack made by Dark XX. Now right at the bat, I don't know if I saw that, but I'm getting around 500 FPS. Okay, okay, I see you. So this texture pack, what it does pretty much, it, it optimizes chunks, bugs, entities, and animation by 300%. That's what the texture pack is claiming. And so far, I can kind of see it. Now something that you'll notice with these optimized FPS boost texture packs is that they pretty much don't change much at all. As a matter of fact, they remove a bunch of hoopla and they pretty much remove stuff that isn't necessary for your Minecraft. Because as many of you guys know, the lesser, the better. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy right here. Oh goodness me. Oh, this is really bad. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually won that. Okay, we're getting around like 300 FPS while fighting, so it's not too shiny by no means. Now you guys have all probably seen that very popular video made by Christ, where he kind of debunks a lot of myths about whether if texture packs actually help increase your FPS or not. Oh, this guy's hacking. Why? And the main gist is the fact that texture packs for the most part don't really help as much. They help just slightly, just slightly. Now, obviously texture packs can do more harm than actually help, especially if you're using texture packs that are holy moly that are higher in demand for example ah 64 128 256 pixel texture packs those will all make your game laggy which is why so many mobile users prefer using 16 by 60 and lower texture packs now as for gameplay wise this pretty much feels normal to me i don't feel like any slight like boost in fps also something that i do notice with this pack in particular is that it changes the font which i do like you know there's not much change at all with this pack i'll be honest with you so i'm just talking about the font and stuff like that but overall as it stands I didn't feel much of a change. You on the other hand might might feel it more than I did. But this pack removes stuff and overall, would I recommend it? Yeah, sure, why not? On to the next pack. Alrighty boys, the next texture pack on the list is a very popular one. A lot of you guys probably know about this one, especially if you're on mobile and have tried to find packs that increase your FPS. Sodium is up next on the list here. Now this one pretty much does the same one as FPS Boost V3, whatever it's called. Wait, what the heck? Do you guys see that? It's super cloudy for some reason. So that's the first thing I'm noticing. The big thing that it removes is particles. Outlight ores is also a thing here, you know, a little bit of that customization. And from the looks of my FES, nothing too... Oh, okay, there you go. I thought that guy was cheating for a second. Can I get rid of this fog? This is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie to you. If this helps with the FPS, then I guess so, but I'm not the biggest fan of this at all. This guy's gonna run for it. Okay, there you go. Okay, this guy is the biggest runner I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie to you. This guy does not want to die. I will say, he has good bridging. This guy is such a runner. Dude, we just went in circles. Are you serious? Okay, watch this. Holy moly, that guy was sweating. Did he die? Please tell me he died. Is that the runner? Oh my, this is bad. No, he has a better sword now. Bro. All right, that's so lame. He ran for so much. But there you guys have it. This texture pack, eh? I mean, did you guys notice the FPS go up? Not necessarily. As you can see, I'm starting to figure out something with these FPS boost texture packs. But on to the third pack. Hey boys, for the last pack on the list, we have optimized your pack. And actually something different about this pack is that it actually gives you a description of what it actually, of what it actually did. So right here, it says increase the FPS. How? I don't know. So it removes things like no particles. Uh, it gives quick loot, quick crafting, quick chat. Uh, it gets rid of no how to play low shield low fire outline or it's the only customization i've seen clean grass softer wool low chunks and more plus so yeah pretty much like the other packs they all kind of do like pretty much the same thing they remove stuff make things smaller minimalistic and keep in mind like i've said before i think this will definitely help like more mobile like older devices but if you're someone who runs minecraft bedrock on a, a decent pc or laptop you won't really necessarily need this if we're being honest here oh my goodness that guy is getting absolutely calm all the way to the sky so what did we learn today do fps texture packs really at work not really. Ah, run, 
Yo, this is my second attempt. I'm just gonna run for it. But they might help slightly. My biggest recommendation is just don't download texture banks that are like very high in pixels, for example, 32 or 64 and so on. Stick to like 16 by 16, 8 by 8, if you one by one if you're down for that. And lower your settings like getting rid of particles and skies and other unnecessary hoopla. That's what these texture packs are meant to do either way. Just remove stuff that isn't necessary. They kind of do you that favor in a way. Dude, why does it feel like I'm playing Skywars in like the fog? I'm scared. Is that guy hacking? I can't tell if this guy's hacking or not. Okay, watch this. Ready? Oh. Oh. Oh, is this person gonna jump? What is this person gonna do? What is. Oh my goodness. Whoa, hello there. There y'all go. But there you guys have it. What do you guys think about this video? I'm just testing out videos. I'm just testing out different idea videos, seeing what does well, what doesn't. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy these types of videos. Ah, uh, where's the last guy? Oh no! But there you guys have it. Stay beautiful as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Also, make sure you watch this video right now.